Finally, we're live. We're live. We're live. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's 20 minutes to get online today. I've never had that happen before. So, I said I would teach you all how to make these. So, let's start. First, we need our paper. We have right here. But for this one, because it is so small, we're just going to use a scrap of paper, which I think I have right here, and I do. Now, we need to pick a picture that is right for that. And I think I had one right here just a minute ago. Let's see what I did with it. Let's see here. Let's see what I've done with the picture that I'm going to use. Um, encyclopedias, vintage pictures like this, came from a Harvard. Let's see. No, the World Book of Business. Um, I'm sorry, these came from this book, Harvard Business School. So. That's where those came from, these came from, but you can get them also from Okay, I've got to find a picture. Oh, here's my pictures right here. Now that we have those. All right. Here's the one that I was going to use for this, right? All right. I'm going to cut this picture out right here. Thank you. 
All right. Now let's take our paper. And we're going to place it on. This is thicker paper. So I'm going to sew this on to here. And then we will come back and go on to the next step. out to reinforce it because it so the book paper is cut kind of flimsy and this helps to reinforce that done now the next thing we want to do is L and it's so I like to use it. So what I'm going to do is take this out there and cut it out on my little thing here. Okay, let's go to here. So now we have that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this blank paper here. this in between
Now, place this in between here. We're going to place this onto here. Now we're going to sew. Tina, we are making, yeah, I'm having a hard time with my computer. I am teaching you how to make vintage tags and tucks for journals. I had, it took me five times to get live. No, and I will redo it and see what happens. So how are you today? Are you doing okay today? So now we're going to take base and put aggravated with this YouTube. It's been like that all day long. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to sew my lace on. I'm going to tuck my little. So now let me sew this on. It's not bad. Um, you can do this with glue just as easy instead of sewing. I just like to use the sewing machine. It saves on the glue. The thread is a lot cheaper and goes a longer way. But all you do is like I've like you've seen so far, and you just glue where I've sewn. It's really quite simple. Okay. 
and leaving that open and it leaves a tuck spot here. And there you have it, one vintage tag. And these pictures, I got, I, this one came from a, the world of business, Harvard Business School. But you can find these pictures also in encyclopedias. And the sewing machine, to be honest, it scared me. But once you get over that, it's just like when you're driving a car, when you're learning to drive. Once you get over the fear of it, you know, it's, there's really nothing to it. So here we have this one. And there's the back. So there's that one. And now let's make, let's see, let's make one of these. It smells so good. Cinnamon, vanilla flavored paper it smells heavenly oh i love vintage photos too yes i do i think they're very so let me cut out a picture for this we are going to use i think we're going to use let's see Shall we use the Mazda lamp, the Quaker Oats, or cultured Boston people who use electric luster starch? Which one do you think we should use? How are you? I think we will use the Y Oats Giver Oats. Cut it out. So let's see here. I don't have fancy tools. I just have um, most of my things come from um, secondhand stores. Every now and then I will go out and buy something if it's something that, you know, really special that I want. Um, but I save my money for buying like the lace and those kinds of things. Are you there, Angie? Get this lined up right. Here we go. There we go. Cut this little piece off. Okay. There we have it. Now we have our picture. Lay that aside. And we have our lined paper. Okay, so I'm going to to the next part.
Okay, so now that we have our little picture sewed on, all we do figure out how to fold it. Looks like we're going to fold this one like this, and then we're going to fold it this way. And then we can either cut this off or to fold it up. So, because it gives extra journals, I took a pan and I poured vanilla flavoring in there. And then I added some cinnamon, lots of cinnamon. And I put my paper in it. And yeah, I had a lot of trouble with um, YouTube also. It took me several tries to get live. Do you want me to end and start over to see if it might be better? I can't promise that I can get live again, but I can try. Oh, where did you go? Something happened. Anyway, after you've glued your little picture on, you see how you need to measure it. Um, and there you have it. And you fold it back up. And there you have it. No, I, um, have you ever coffee dyed paper? Instead of using coffee, I pour vanilla flavoring. You can buy the large ones. I pour some of that in and probably about two or three tablespoons of cinnamon. And then I, I do my paper in the microwave. I, I just don't like to do it in the oven. I don't trust myself. So I do it in the microwave and I stand there with it. It takes about um, one minute, 20 seconds in the microwave and then after it's dry I take a little sponge a dry sponge and I just wipe it down to get the cinnamon off and it just keeps the smell it's so now we have these two and then I just take a little clip a little paper clip and I clip it on there like that so now we have So now let's see the little memo sheet. You get another sheet of paper. Okay. And we need to find our paper that we're going to use for that. I think I like this one. Let's see. Yeah. We're going to use this one for this. So I'm going to take my little paper cutter and trim up my paper again.
think I lost you again. Okay, so we have that. And now we're going to take our paper and I'm going to sew it on there. Okay, and I had a little accident right now, so we're going to trim that out. Line it up. We're going to measure it out. Have it there. And I'm going to cut that one. And here we need to line it up again and mark it. All right. I can't see you. I don't know if you're there or not. I do not know I'm with Google tonight. Hey, I had trouble all day today with it. It's just been crazy. So you take your papers. You take some lace, and like I said, you can use glue for this. And you want you lay it across the top, and you stitch it. And here we have it. Here are our, here's our vintage. Let me trim it up a little bit. And there we have our vintage memo pad. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So there we have that. Okay. And let's see. Now let's see about this one. This one is simply the same thing. You just take your photos, sew it to the paper, 
and fold it. Let's see if we have something different here. Here's one. You keep disappearing on me. Oh, yes. When you're making, sewing all the scraps together. Is that what you mean? I haven't tried it sewing, but I've done it with glue and, and my, well, Mod Podge, and I had fun with it, too. But it came out stiff. I'll have to try it sewing because that sounds like fun. Did you do it with uh, big sheets of paper like this, or did you do it with the, um, like, the register tape? So this one is a flip up. So let's take another sheet of this paper, another photo. Let's see, here we go, right here. And I think that will be perfect. There's no dimensions when you're doing ends of your photo that you're using. I think I can't see the chat right now because of the, there's something going on with Google. It keeps going in and out. So I apologize. I'm not ignoring you. I just can't see it. But yes, I'll have to try that with the sewing. That sounds like fun. So now, for this one, I'm going to sew my little thing on there, my little picture. It does, and it's really neat when you use different colors of thread to do it. And um, all your, it's a great way to use up those scraps. So now I'm going to cut this picture off. Go a little bit further with that. Right there. And now I'm going to turn it around and very carefully try to cut the other part out with that.
kind of did rip it, but that's okay. We'll get another sheet of paper. Oh, uh, the smell of it too. It smells wonderful. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sew it onto there and then it flips up. Just so and it'll flip up. And I made a boo-boo because I sewed it the wrong way. I should have turned it, but that's okay. We'll just do it this way. Like this. And then you just paper. However you want, you still thread up there, and then fold this one under. And like I said, um, the way it comes out on the size of your photo, you have your whole entire page here. And these are really so. Let's see, what do we have next? We have two of these. So let's make a couple of these. These are fine. You can make a right one and you can make a left one, depending on where you put your picture on the page. So let's find another photo. And we have one right here. And what? Now let's get a piece of paper and we'll just so just like that. We dyed paper, see the, the difference? And this is the sentiment. I don't know if you can see the difference in it. Then the coloring. It, once you um, get the hang of it, I mean, it's just like when you learn to drive a car. We're all scared of it at first. But once we got used to it, the more you get used to it, the um, more comfortable you become with it. So now, all we do is fold it. Oops, I needed to go just a little bit more. Let's see here. And fold it this way. And then we'll cut this off.
Angie, send me your address. And since there were only two of you, um, send the two of you and send them to you, okay? Tina, if you will message me your address, I, I will, um, like I said, I will divide them between the two of you. And that way you'll both get some since there were only two people. Would that be okay? So now we have this one. And you can actually fold it, you know, if you wanted to fold it this way, you can do it like this. And have like a right tuck, you know, like that with a paper clip, you know, like that. Or you can just, you know, it all depends on how you fold it when you're making your journal and where you're going to use it. And basically that's pretty much all there is to it. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So. I will send you each three. How does that sound? Um, if y'all will just message me your addresses. And thank you. Thank y'all for joining me. I think my husband is waiting on me now to go and spend some time with him. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We, um, we've had a busy couple of days. My niece and nephew, their house burnt to the ground yesterday so we've been caught a little bit so getting them settled somewhere so we're kind of tired so thank y'all and y'all have a good bye bye hi brenda how are you I am going to be having these classes and giveaways every week. Um, I think I'm going to do them on Tuesday nights at five. I had trouble getting online tonight for whatever reason. I actually had trouble all day getting online to come to speak of it, but um, it's just been crazy. So what is everyone working on? I've been working on journals. Okay, thank you, Tina. Don't forget to send me your address, babe. Okay, well, I'm going to sign off now and go and spend some time with my husband. Um, good night and stay safe and keep. Well, I had a hard time getting online, on online, live, so to speak, and time.